Hello and welcome back to Divinity Sin. Divinity Original Sin 2. Fucking nailed it. Uh, we are in the town of Fort Joy. In the last episode, we finished clearing the beach to the north. This area. We killed the turtles. It's time to start uh, doing the quests in town. Starting with this fellow. Hey! You. You there. You, you just arrived, isn't that right? Yeah. Are you? Are you quite alone? So he sells Aerithers stuff, which I don't care about. So you have a companion, but you're fine with going it you alone. Won't regret it. Not when you hear what I've got to say. We need to be quick. You never know when the magisters are gonna haul you off. Uh. Point out that he seems ah, a bit nervous. You would be too if you'd been here as long as I have. In fact, you should be nervous if you're here at all. I know what they have planned for us, and it ain't pretty. Hmm. Ask him what he's planning. I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. I don't know if I believe it, and I don't want to wait and find out. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? Uh, yeah. Better girl. Who wouldn't? Finally, someone with a little sense around here. The plan's simple. Completely foolproof. I have a spell that I can use to teleport you right out of here. I can't use it on myself, but with your help, we can both get out of here. Nice. There's an artifact that you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. This item, though, it's in quite an unfortunate location. Where is it? It's found its way into a nest of crocodilians on a secluded beach nearby. Here, give me your map and I'll show you where to go. Not enough to trouble a fine specimen such as yourself. Uh-huh. Get that artifact. And you and I are as good as free. Go give those overgrown lizards what for. Uh-huh. All right. So, we have to go fight three crocodiles on the beach. They are going to be very hard at this level. I don't know if we're prepared for that just yet. Um, we got a trader right here. That is the restoration trader. God, you guys have, like, no gold. How am I supposed to sell all this shit I've been hoarding if you don't have any gold? You should be happy for greed. So I believe the crocodiles are down over here. Uh, this guy I'm waiting for someone. is an assassin. You. Off. So, you know, he's an assassin here to kill the Red Prince, which uh, we already did. So we're just going to kill him for the XP. <laughs> Kill him for the XP. Kill him for the XP. Yeah, fight me, bitch. All right, let's get behind him. We need to break his physical armor, which we did. Let's turn the little bitch into a chicken. Let's get full AP, or as much AP as we can. That is enough for two more attacks. Because this guy actually has a lot of fucking health. Hurts, doesn't it? Hurts, doesn't it? Yes. Stupid chicken. Um. I guess we could CC the chicken so it doesn't run away any further. It does a little bit of damage. Can I backstab a target when it's on the ground? I think I can. Yeah, yeah, I can. All right, he's back up, so let's CC him. Let's go ahead and use Encourage. Probably should have done that sooner. And we'll just go ham. Yes. 600 fucking XP. Don't mind if I do. That was worth it. Oh, and a blue chest piece. Fuck yeah. Visibility potion. Good stuff on him. 
I don't have an identifying glass yet, so sadly, we can't identify that nice piece of loot that we just got. Which is a little discouraging, but eh, is what it is. Uh, now I'm going to try subbing in Tier 2 Air Rune and running through. Nice, you should get more XP that way. How the H-E double fuck do I use Chalice Glyphs? Um, you just uh, type in the specific Chalice Glyph in the search function. There's an option when you go to the tombstones. Probably didn't need to double save there. There's an option when you go to the tombstones to uh, type in specific glyphs. And you just type in the one that you want, that you found online. For whatever reason. Okay, I'm a little scared of these crocodiles. I think there's actually a hidden chest over here. So why don't we... See if we can get anything useful out of this. I don't have any goddamn lockpicks. Let's try and get something useful out of this, and then... Ugh, that's gonna take forever. It's gonna break my weapons. Maybe we could get something useful that'll help us in the croc fight. We'll see. How are my weapons holding up? Let's see, 15 out of 20, 18 out of 20, okay. We should be able to break this open. really sucks having a blue chest beast and not being able to identify it. Come on. There we are. We got a rain scroll, some gold, and some fire arrows. Not bad, but not what we need, per se. Alright. So they have 102 health, but low physical armor. So that is going to help us CC them. I only see two. Where's the third one? Well, I know he's there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm not sure what to do here. I'm scared. Let's just quick save. In case we fuck up, we can go back and fix it. Maybe Chameleon Cloak? Try and sneak up behind him. Let's just go ahead and enter in there. Ouch. I mean, we do have a lot of potions, so we can probably just potion tank our way through this. Not super ideal, but let's uh, delay her turn. Ow. There you are. Alright. So we'll probably start. Twenty percent heal, that's not bad. Let's eat some apple pie and an apple. We got some health back. We need to get in there. God, I wish you had more AP. And this fucking oil is all over my goddamn feet. Making me move slow. That's super annoying. Oh, man. If I open up here, they are all gonna just unload on me, I think. Well. I don't know if we have a choice. Ugh, a miss. And we can stab again. Let's do a flesh sacrifice, get one AP. Turn you into a chicken. And we'll go from there. Are you still fucking slowed? God damn it. That's annoying. So I'll just get up in its face. Hopefully she doesn't die. Ugh. Ow! 
Okay, she's dead. Great. This is going to be easy. Hmm. Ah! We're going to load. <laughs> We're going to load. We're going to have to be a bit more tactful than that. Oh, shit. I don't know if we're ready for this yet. Single target fights are a lot better for us right now. Because we can, like, focus down one target and CC them. But three targets, that's... That's a lot for us. And these guys do a lot of damage. Damn you! I'm not texting, you're texting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that slow is so bad. Maybe we can do something like that to sneak out of here a little faster. Come on, break combat, break combat. Shit! Ow. Stop slowing me, you cunt. Huh. They are kind of grouped up nicely. Maybe I should just fight them like this. Caught him on fire, that's something. Eat some of that. Eat, some, eat a fucking raw egg, sure, why not? Let's come over to you. Let's see if we can sneak you into combat. you're invisible. No. Okay. Oh my god, and it broke my chameleon cloak. That's fucking great. Great use of resources there. Ooh, that one has magic armor. Let's use another scroll of fireball. Um, let's use potion? never tried to use a grenade before, but that doesn't seem to be working. I'll... I could encourage. Let's just get out of the oil. Ow! God, you hit so fucking hard. Alright. That didn't do much. Fuck off. this. I don't like this. I don't think we're strong enough for this yet. Ugh. We're just gonna have to come back and do this later. Our current build just isn't going to allow it. Alright. Need to murder more things first. Let's see if there's any there's of less about. difficult quests we can do right now. Ah, we got a traitor here. Here you are. I wonder what keeps you. Mm. Tell me your tale. Those lock picks would be nice. We do have a lot we could trade for. I think we can turn that soap into a lockpick. 
So let's get that as well. Don't want any of that stuff. Don't need any of these wands. Whoa. That one's worth 91 on its own. Pumpkin. Want some soup? There we go. All right. Now I think we can actually take this soap and combine it with a key to make a lockpick. Nice. Nice. So we should be able to go get that chest now. A little bit easier this time. We'll continue to avoid the crocolisks until later. But I do want that chest now. Come on, ladies. Hurry it up. I think we can kill that crab for some XP. Oh, I got 300 XP just for scouting this. Nice. All right, it was, I'm glad we came back here. So let's go ahead and pick that lock. Gold. And a rain skill. Hey. Right. I'll be back. Fishing. Ooh, identifying glass. Fuck yeah. Can we? Yes, we can. We are, uh, have identified the blue chest piece, which is going to be great for Sybil. Because that gives her plus one finesse, which is just good. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to get used to the fact that you're my pack mule, because you're my strength-based character. But that's fine. We can adjust all of my loot later. Let's kill this crab. Hopefully it gives us XP, XP and I'm not just a dick. It's actually a, a sorcerer that was turned into a crab. It's not just like a random crab. Come here. Stab and 200 XP. I'll take it. I will take it. Crab claws, cool. Mm-hmm. Back at you, sir. Back at you. Got some whisper wood. We can use that. What is this? Dreamer's resting place. All right. This is marked with a quest arrow on my map. The gloves, the elf Elodie told us this is a place where we can safely. The elf Elodie told us of a safe place where we can talk safely? Huh. I don't even remember getting that quest. Need help removing the source collar. Mm hmm. Okay. Dreamer's resting place. I do not know why this is quest marker. But whatever. Is there anybody around? No. So I can take that healing potion. Don't mind if I do. Tempted to look that up. Maybe I'll look that up in between episodes. <clears throat> There's a dog right there that you can do a little quest for if you have pet pal, but I don't. The dog focuses at the cat at your feet, baring its teeth. Rude. Don't growl at my cat. Like my cat. Got a skull. You know what we can do with that? We can grind it up. 
into bone dust. Make it that much more valuable. Uh, this lady has a little quest for us if we give her an empty potion bottle. Haven't got any liquor on hand, have you? This fella could use a little comfort. Why, look at that. Just what I ordered. Ain't you a peach, love? An old deal here would thank you too if he could. That gave us 250 XP. Good stuff. Ooh, and you sell polymorph spells. Do I want any of these? We've got Tentacle Lash. And bull horns. Magnificent, magnificent horns sprout from your forehead, making you see red. You can rush at your enemies and gore them, increasing retribution ability by one for the duration. Incompatible with Medusa head. I've never played with polymorph before, so this is going to take a little bit of adjustment for me. So that sets bull horns for four turns? That's so weird. I don't understand how polymorph works. Do you have any gold? No, I can't even sell you shit. God. Poor fella over there crossed one of Griff's card sharks and got a club to the skull. Don't to be sure, but I'd like to ease his way out. Oh, man. Well, 500 XP there just for talking to her. If we can just get one more level, I'll feel a lot more confident fighting those crocs. And there is a lizard in here that is worth pickpocketing. So we're going to have Losa... You are in the wrong talk to him. We're gonna save, just to be on the safe side. And go for a pickpocket! And he has a nice sword that we can give to Losa. Uh, is there anything else in particular we want? A helmet there for some more defenses. Oh, these daggers are actually slightly better than what we have. So maybe we should take two of those. And we'll just top off with 87 gold. And then we run away! Um, do you have anything else I want to buy? I could buy that belt. Four and one, two and two. These helmets aren't bad. Oh god, that's getting expensive fast. We could pick up a shield to make her more tanky, but I think we're gonna actually have her dual wield for Act 1, because dual wielding is really strong in Act 1. And I think that's gonna be it for right now. So rather than give him 300 gold, we are going to sell him all of our garbage that we don't want, which is a lot of different things. Get rid of all that bone dust, these golden cups, a tooth, some bowstring. Perfect! And actually, I could take his 370 gold, so let's keep selling him stuff. Let's get rid of that and that. Don't need these wands for anything. Don't need these bows. That or that or that. That stuff I want. I don't think we need crab claws or that. Sheet of paper, tongs. Pretty close. He's still got 83 gold. Malachite. I don't think I'm going to use these essences for anything. I'm not really sure what they're for, other than crafting but I don't think I need them. So that should be good. That should get rid of a lot of our shit and give our characters some nice upgrades. So now we need to run away so he doesn't know we stole his shit. And let's talk to this lady. Thank you for your help with that, thug. Rare is the human who goes against their own for an elf. Happy to help. She bows. Uh... Does anybody know a way out of the fort? I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but I fear the Magisters. Who's in charge? In this cave, we trust the healer. She is young, but she sees. 
She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. Got anything to sell? Nah. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The magisters come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. Oh. Wait, before you go, I am not here without your help. I do not forget <laughs> this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. Thank you. <laughs> she just gave me a severed head. Jesus. Well. Huh. So, we could take... It's tough. Between the pants and the belt. We'll find a lot of pants early on, but we won't find a lot of belts. But the pants are a bigger upgrade than the belt, so... I think I'm just gonna think about the... The mid-game and take the belt. Um, let's have... Losa eat this... Head, the severed head that she gave us. Your face with your hands. You've just heard the news. The elven homelands have been destroyed by death fog. It was your order who did it. How can this be? Huh. Hey, we got new skill, first aid. Cool. So if we put some points into huntsman, we can use that, which is nice. Very nice. Um, okay, so we got a belt upgrade. Can throw on a helmet upgrade. Got a helmet upgrade for you. Got a belt upgrade for you. And I want to say that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. We got this dope-ass sword. So we'll put that in the main hand, club in the off hand. That's looking pretty strong right there. And then we need to go upgrade all of our new weapons with poison. And we should be doing substantially more damage now. Which is good. Yes. All right. But let's talk to this lady first over here. As you approach the young elf, Losa suddenly grabs your arm. Her hand is damp. Her face looks pale and gray. Hey, listen, I... I don't know why, but but I think I need to talk to this elf. Okay. You mind? Uh. N no. She darts over to the elf without responding. They begin talking in earnest, more quietly than you can overhear. Losa suddenly snatches up both the elf's hands and leans close to her. Her voice rises. You have to tell me. The whites of Losa's eyes fade to gray, then black. The color runs into her veins, crisscrossing her skin like lightning. She keeps hold of Sahela's hands. Mm -hmm. This is in you even now, Losa. Do not let it. You must be strong. Uh. Be strong. Fight. You are okay. You are yours. No one else is. Approach and touch Losa's arm. Tell her it's time to get out of here. Watch and listen. Interject. Uh. I, I, I can't. I, I can't. Losa is fighting an enemy. She will win. She must win. Ooh. Shut up. Let go. Let go. I don't want to hurt her. Don't make me. Losa is rigid as a board, tense with the effort of holding Sahela's hands in tight, painful bunches. Uh. Leave me alone. Leave me. I don't want to. <coughs> you are hurting me. Uh. Losa's eyes are black. Sahela's fingers are white under her grasp. Let me go. Please. A sinister smile spreads across Losa's lips. She jerks the elf toward her. Chatty, chatty elf. Chatty elf with all the answers. I wonder what your blood tastes like. Losa, please. Shit. You, you must not defend her. She wakes if she is weakened. We must hurt her to protect her, you see? Uh, okay. I bet. Elf blood tastes like honey, like nectar, like joy itself. Let's find out. 
So I have to beat up Losa to... I think she's possessed, which is not uh, ideal. So let's uh, fucking turn you into a chicken. Yeah, you're a chicken. I hope I don't have to kill her, because that means I'd have to use a resurrection scroll to bring her back. And I don't want to waste a resurrection scroll on this crap. But we shall see. You guys want to help? It is almost enough. Oh, nice kick. A few more hits. She comes back to us when she is weaker. You okay? Hey. Yeah, thanks. Come back, sweetie. Stop running. Come here. You're fine. Stop running. What? Don't look at me like that. Uh. <laughs> Hang an arm around her shoulder and tell her to lighten up. You're happy to meet your that other thing half. That has nothing to do with me. It's just a visitor. A fly that won't buzz off. Glad it didn't freak you out too much, though. I know this kind of stuff can be weird if you aren't used to it. Smile and tell her the weirder the better. <laughs> Look at us. A merry band of freaks are we. Let's keep moving. I want to get out of this bloody place as soon as possible. Uh, let's go. Okay, so she's got issues, but hey, who doesn't? I wanted to talk to this damn elf. Could you not interrupt me? Is a cover, but she turns towards you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. Ah, hello. So much, so much you suffer. So much suffering you have and you make. Does causing pain stop yours? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Total, total sadist over here. Uh, ask how did she knows about I see that. It before my eyes. Tell her you're only getting started. The blood of your enemies is like a balm for your soul. Dear one, no. Your anger. No, I should not say. You must discover for yourself. She takes your hand. I wish you only healing. It mm -hmm. looks like she wants to speak further, but she hesitates, shakes her head. No, surely it cannot be. Uh, say so you're looking for a way out of Fort her Joy. Eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. Ask about this Amaro. My protector, my friend. An elf like me, with a spirit bright as new leaves. He tries to help me, to save me, and he suffers very much. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. You bring me great peace. Thank you, my friend. I miss him very much. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. Interesting. Uh... Okay, you don't have anything to sell. I think I'm done talking to you. So, we now have a quest to save her friend. What's this? And there's a little hidden room over here that we can go into for another quest. 725 XP, don't mind if I do. Another identifying glass, cool. Pretty sure you only need one, but I'm not, yeah. Having more can't hurt. Uh, pickaxe. That's worth a hundred gold. I'll take it. Hello. What in the world are you? I I'm an elf. Can it be an elf? Oh, I have been abominably rude. Please forgive me. I'm so very out of practice. It's been so long since I met another living soul. In my day, 
Your kind were most mysterious. I'd heard only rumors. I'd never met an elf myself. Oh, I I've been a cad. It is so shameful for me to ask, but... Why are you trapped a down here? A king, it was. Bracchus Rex by name. The Order of the Source Hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle, and I was sent to stop it. Yet, my failure was absolute. I am not fit to bear the insignia of the Source Hunters any longer. Please, good lady, you must free me. Prize this spear from my chest, where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. Uh, so you can't imagine his torment all too well, but would it be wise to free an undead? Say he's in luck, you delight in setting trapped creatures free. Oh, sure, let's you, set him free. Lady, bless you. Seize the spear. End this degradation. I beg you. Okay. It's stuck fast. Uh, can you take it? Hey, got it. I got it. Good madam. You've set my body free. Free to crumble to dust at last. <laughs> but my spirit, blast! I remain trapped in this moldering skeleton yet. Uh, ask what binds him. Spell most terrible. I have heard of such magic, but have never known anyone so foul as to employ it. Bracchus Rex, may maggots lace his entrails. Yeah, right. After he interred me in this cell, he must have drawn my very soul away from me and stored it elsewhere in the fort. Thus, he has bound me entirely to the mundane realm. But I know this place well. I could lead you to its likely location. In turn, you would find a path straight out of this fort. My freedom for yours. What say you? Yeah. Marvelous, my friend. Hey, Marvelous. level up. You'll first have to get inside the fort itself. There's a secret switch on a statue of the Seven in the courtyard. Surely you know it. The switch will open a hatch and you'll be led into the prison's main floor. I suspect that within Bracchus's phylactery room, you will find the container which ensnares my soul. He has likely disguised it well, but search there for another hidden switch. Okay. Bracchus would have made me a supplicant, a slave to these walls. With your help, I'll die. At last. With dignity. Um... Okay, bye. So we got the spear, which is actually good. Um, it's a finesse weapon, but it's not a dagger, so... I don't think it's going to be something we can actually use. But we did get a level up, so that is going to substantially make us stronger. I think we are going to put some points into Constitution. Uh, you're going to put some more points. We have Warfare. We have Scoundrel. I don't think we need anything else in Poly. So we could put points into Dual Wielding. Which is going to increase our damage and our dodge, which could be good. I think we're going to do that. And nice, we got a new ability. Um, escapist, no. Executioner's good, but no. Gorilla, hothead, leech, living armor, mnemonic. Opportunist is always good, but... I think I want Huh. Pond would be good. Where's the one that makes it so I can walk past people without getting attack of opportunity? That's duck duck goose. So I need Huntsman for Duck Duck Goose, and I don't have Huntsman yet. Shoot. It's too late to respec, so I think we'll get Duck Duck Goose next. For right now, I think we'll go for... We could go for Executioner or the Pawn. Uh, it's tough. 
gone for Executioner before. Let's just try the Pawn. It's going to give us one extra action point per turn. So we'll always have seven out of eight, which is really good. Try that. Uh, for Losa, we can obviously take... Uh, Lone Wolf, which is going to make her substantially stronger. We can put more points into... Let's go for a Constitution Strength Split. Is she gonna, she's going to be our tank character. And, ugh, I have points in two-handed. I definitely picked wrong on her starting class, but that's fine. We can respec her after Act 1. She's got four in Warfare. What else would we want her specced into? Decisions, decisions. Could go Necromancer. That's going to heal her when she deals damage. Summoner, Hydro. Ugh. Decisions are difficult. Decisions are really difficult. I really should have had a better plan for my my secondary character for Losa. Uh, maybe we'll just put more points into Warfare for now. That's probably fine. We can always fix all of this the later on. Clouded and gray, but it stares at you with a cute its eyes clear, and it shakes its head. Okay. Take that cup of tea. Rubbish. Thanks. Don't call it rubbish. That's tea, woman. All right, so good stuff down there. What else can we do? What else can we do? There are some frogs over here that we could fight. That might be worth the trouble if we can actually win. Uh, let's scooch that out of the way. Break our way through this barricade. All right. Let's actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to go poison all of our weapons. Seeing that poison on the ground reminded me. So let's go upgrade our weapons and see what else we can do. Yeah, give me that ooze barrel. This again. So we're gonna combine. I wonder if it'll work on this. Because it has air damage on it. It does! Nice! Nice. Let's upgrade our shivs. All right, dope. And let's just uh, throw that back there. Cool. I wonder if the blacksmith has anything that would be helpful. She's probably got some gold. She's a blacksmith after all. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. Ooh. I'm actually gonna rob her. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Losa, come talk to her, please. Amidst a crowd of. Yeah, let's quick save just in case anything goes wrong. Hey, who the fuck sees me? Nice. I want that ring. I want those lock picks. And empty potion bottles are always useful. <clears throat> Let's grab a resurrection scroll and then top off with another hundred gold. Alright, nice. Run away before she notices she's been robbed. Alright, so we could fight the crocs, we could fight the frogs down in that dungeon. 
or there's a fight over here that we could do right up here which I think we'll try they're only level two I should be able to take them come on lads lasses right Let's see how this goes Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. A oh, fresh face. Fresh faces, do we? Oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of chuffed? You glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. Sorry, skipped a little dialogue there. They invited us to play cards. Play your hand. Right, the hand, freshy. Unfortunately, two is less than five, and that's how many purples I've got. I reckon that makes me the winner. I'll be having your fee then. Uh, what? I'm sure the Reds told you. No one gets along without paying the internment fee. So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. Well, this is clearly a shakedown. Um, Are you really going to make this so hard, Freshie? Uh, yeah. We'll see about that, Freshie. Let's fucking fight, bitch. You started this shit. Right, so we got 23 physical armor there, 23 there, and 23 there. So we might just as well focus old ravioli boy. He is almost dead. Let's go ahead and do a flesh sacrifice. We can probably kill him with this attack, I'm guessing, so let's do that. Not pop adrenaline just yet. Ow, dick. Just lighting everybody on fire like a dick. Let's come over here. Don't fucking miss, girl. Come on. Uh, how much damage does this do? We might be able to knock her down. Let's see what happens. Nope. Oh well. We'll be fine. Would have been nice if we could, but not a big deal that we can't. Let's backstab him. Once more. Let's go ahead and adrenaline. This hopefully we'll finish him. It did. Then we'll just come in and trap her. Let's just start swinging for the fences. Oh, yeah. Look at that damage. Oh, look at that damage. 750 XP, not bad. Not a hard fight at all. Let's go ahead and take what they had. Potion. Lock picks. Nice. And Slug's Axe. With 5% crit on it. Not bad. Is that an upgrade? We've got a club that hits for 67. So we could drop that down to 5 to 7, but with 5% crit, that's probably worth the upgrade, but I don't really want to go bother putting poison on it for such a small upgrade. So I think we're just going to say we're good. I wonder if I can fight just this Magister. Ooh, she's a level four. You there? I'm looking for an inmate. He wears a large bronze ring with a dragon stamped into it. Name of Migo. Have you seen him? Uh. Useless. It is a very important matter that I locate this Migo. Tell me if you hear mention of him. Oh, I think I know about that guy. And I'm pretty sure to do that quest, I'm going to need a Yarrow Flower, which I'm pretty sure I find on, old man. I out front over here. Let's just go check. I'm pretty sure there's a Yarrow Flower, like, right here. And once I find that guy, if I give him the flower, I don't have to fight him. And then we can go turn in that quest. That's just a long branch. Damn. Damn. Come on, flower. I need a Yarrow flower. Shift shield. Ooh, 
glad I came over here. Look at all these mushrooms. We can turn those into healing potions. Right. I'd say that was worth the detour. Alright, so we can go fight the crocodiles or we can go fight the frogs. Not sure which one's going to be easier. Oh, and some whisper wood too. Nice. These things are good. I think we need to do some inventory management. We got a ring. Five magic armor and 12 HP. We'll probably put that on our tank character. Hopefully she'll be the one taking damage. Um, do we have any other upgrades? No. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just go f try and fight the crocs. We're a lot stronger than we were last time. Let's just... Let's just give it a go. See what happens. If we can't do it, we can't do it, but I want to try. Oh, you have a spell slot. Can't learn that, can I? No. Ugh. Starting a new character is hard, man. So many things you need before your build starts to come together, but you just don't have it at the beginning. All right, let's go ahead and quick save and let's see if we can get this done. All right. Standing right next to an oil barrel. That is not ideal. Let's just bring you over here. Maybe I should chameleon cloak. Let's just do it. Probably not a good use of our AP there, but whatever. It's gonna delay turn. Okay, kinda hoping they would get in a little closer. God, if I get up there, they're just gonna rip me apart. I kind of want to do is to bait them back over here and then light them on fire. So we're gonna back up. We're gonna back you up. Turn and hope they come over here. Let's delay turn again. That one's close enough to the oil. I think it'll catch on fire. Oh, shit. Actually gonna back you up one more time. Uh, let's just eat some shit. Sure. That should heal us up and give us some buffs, hopefully. Poison resistance, meh. Your turn. We're gonna back you up. Ah. If we can get them right in this oil field, we're gonna hit them with a, a fireball spell. Which I would imagine will do a lot of damage. Nice. Okay, we got one in the one in. Ow. Alright, while we're waiting for the other ones, let's just start beating this one up. Good damage right there. Oh dear, that is not how I want it to position. That is unfortunate as fuck. But we're gonna deal with it. Let's bring you over. Start stabbing this bitch. Eh, got him poisoned, not bad. Yes, yes, come stand in the oil, fools. Stop spreading the oil, fool. Um, let's go ahead and encourage. Finish off that croc. Let's 
back up to here. Nice. Okay. Let's get you out of the oil. End your turn. And you... Actually, let's back you up over here out of the oil. Because this is going to spread like crazy when I do this. Let's hit him with a fireball. Eh. Could have done more. Could have done less. It's fine. Let's drink a potion. And turn. Ugh. That really didn't go as well as I was hoping. <laughs> But I'm feeling good. I think we got this. I think we got it. Too far? Come on. We'll blink behind it so we don't have to waste AP moving. And just fuck him up. Oh, one health. Come on. Come on. Maybe he'll burn to death. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll just take a little bit of fire damage. Or we can do that. That gets the fire out of our way. She's moving slow from oil, but that's okay. Then turn. Stab him. Stab him again. Turn him into a chicken. Nice. Hey! I think we have successfully beaten the crocodiles. Which is a very good thing. Alright. Nicely done, team. Nicely done. Now, these bad boys are going to have the gloves of teleportation, which are very good set of gloves. They're going to grant us the ability to use uh, grant us the skill teleport, and we can put those on. Let's put them on you. And we'll take these gloves and put them on you. Let's see if there's anything else around here that we want. And now, now that we have those gloves, we can go get a nice one handed sword for Losa. Um. I guess we can eat all of these body parts with our elf lady. Maybe we'll get some something? I don't know. Early memories are overshadowed by a terrifying death. A tempest of teeth, scales, and snarls. Okay. Looking around for joy, you feel excited. A new environment to explore, new people to meet, new challenges to overcome. Who knows what could happen here? Okay. You are ever sodden, ever sandy. The smell of guts and sea waste cling to you like a ghost. You sought freedom, the life of a seaman. Huh. Interesting. I wonder, do uh, intestines have an effect on us? as an elf if we eat them. No, those are just for something else. What do they do? Sets diseased for three turns. Gross. Okay, don't eat intestines. Got it. Got it. Now we can come up here and use our new fancy teleportation skills to go get that beer out on that island. And you know me, I like beer. Nice. All right, let's go back to the beach. Put our party back together. And we're gonna go get that hidden chest right up here using our fancy new gloves. Woohoo! I finally have a good gem. Nice, Steph. What kind of gem did you get? Tell me all about it. <clears throat> a 
once we get this other good weapon, we should be in pretty decent shape for the early game fights. So we're going to teleport you right up there. I hope that's not locked. I don't think it is, but... Got a two-handed sword. And, ooh, Huntsman Chest Armor. Nice. Let's just get the rest of the stuff up here. So what that's going to do is it's going to let um, Sybil use the heal skill, the Huntsman heal skill that we got for her earlier on by eating that head. And that way we don't have to put points into Huntsman to do that. At least not yet. And the good sword is up here. It wasn't that two-hander that we picked up. Uh, the Viper's Tongue, 9 to 11 base damage. 600 XP, too. Nice. Nice. Alright, then we can get back down here using the Vines. Where's my fancy new sword? There she be. Climb on these. Ouch. I'm sorry. It was rude of me. Alright, so we can put that there. We can give... You... Oh, but then I'd have to drop that chest piece, which is a shame. But that's fine. Or is it? Ah, oh, shit. That's tough. Alright. It's not perfectly ideal, but at least we can put the good blue chest piece on you. Which is going to make you more tanky. It gives her finesse, which doesn't actually do anything for her. So we're kind of wasting that finesse point. But given the options, I think that's going to be the most value we can get. Let's come back to town. Let's go ahead and upgrade the Viper's Tongue that we just got. I suppose I could just teleport here, huh? And then we'll talk to that guy who wanted us to get the teleportation gloves. So we'll combine that with the Viper's Tongue. Put that back down there. Uh... 30 to 39 or 32 to 41. Nice, okay. So we want them in that configuration for maximum damage. Hello, friend. So, what's the news? What's the news? Um, we have the teleporter. Well, I certainly got lucky with you, didn't I? The way out's nice and secluded. It starts in a little hidden alcove on the beach. Give All right. I'll show you where to go. And hurry, not a tick of the clock to spare. All right. Meet you there, bub. Bubby boy. Let's see, where are we going? We're going right here. So we're going to pass through that pretty little cave again. Oh, the gem is 26.2% physical up. Really low increase to stamina cost, dude. That is a good gem. Is it cursed? Does it have a negative curse affix on it, or is it just a, uh... Oh, wait, no, that is the curse, is the increase to stamina cost. That's a solid gem, dude. That's an A-tier gem. Not quite S-tier, but it's A-tier. Happy for you. Alright, bub. What's the, what's the sitch? How do you want to do this? Teleport me down to the ledge behind me, near the tree stump. I'll bring you right after. Oh, we're almost free. Can you taste the ale? Oh, the scent of home. <laughs> sure. Right, so next to the tree stump, we're going to teleport you. Now, come towards me. I'll teleport you down. I just need to see you clear. 
Come close to the edge as you can, friend. Uh huh. Hey, thanks. Simply perfect. Now, teleport me to that mossy rock across the gulch, just by the torch. You're almost there. Mossy rock by the torch. Uh, sorry, where? I don't see a mossy rock by a torch. Do you guys see a mossy rock by a torch? Because I don't. You want to go over here? I don't think that's where he wanted to go. Smells better here above that pit. Thanks for the help. And good luck getting yourself out. Oh. Looks like it's just you and me, Stumpley. Huh, you dick. You dick. Well, at least we got 1200 XP for that. If I ever find that guy, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Oh. I don't have a way out of here, do I? Well, we seem to be stuck down here all by our lonesome. Got a bloody hand and a soggy note. Let's see. These are my last words. I ask that one of my kind, my own heart, re reads them. Dear one, consume me and remember I am not lost here forever. May you leave and take me with you, please. Okay. Let's uh let's eat a hand. You thought hard on the location of your fortune before passing. You wanted an elf to find it. You urge whoever tastes your flesh to go and enjoy what you cannot. Okay, where's your fortune? Did you add that shit to my map? Oh, look at that. Hidden treasure. Neato. You know what I wonder? Can we do... <laughs> we can. We can pass the gloves from party member to party member. And then teleport you out of this ditch. Nice. Nicely done. Put your gloves back on. Put your gloves on. And I think that's going to be a good place to stop episode three, guys. Thank you all for watching and chilling with me. I'm hoping you're enjoying Divinity Sin original uh, to uh, uh, something. I don't know what it's called. Hey. Hey. What's that? Look at that. There's a chest over there. Hang on. Hang on. I've never noticed that before. Bouncing shield. A belt? God damn it. Should have got those pants earlier. Oh, well. <laughs> Anyways, cool find there at the end. Uh, I love this game. I'm definitely going to be playing it more, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, let me know down in those comments below. That's what we're going to call this live stream for today. And we did... Uh, a little over three hours, so I hope you all enjoyed, and we'll be back with more very, very soon. Love your faces, beard heart. See you next time. Bye bye.